All right, great. So let's just say you've been into RC cars now for a while. So you're not a complete newbie. You've actually started upgrading parts and now you've gotten a whole new transmitter, for example, this Futaba T3PV. But uh, the point of the video is really, let's just say you upgrade your ESC and you end up getting a Hobbywing ESC. For example, this Z-Run XR8 SCT. So this one here is made for a short course trucks, but you know, it, it's gonna work perfect on this uh, drag build. Now this drag build isn't complete, uh, the tires aren't on, so you're just gonna hear some spinning, but I'll show you the shafts so you can see what direction they're spinning. But let's just say things aren't spinning the correct way. So right now I have my normal, and I'm gonna engage my ESC. Now uh, I have the fan unplugged, that's why the fan's not coming on. Uh, I don't need it for this video. If I were actually running it, I would have it plugged in. But anyway, uh, right now it's normal, uh, so if you look at the shaft right here, this drive shaft uh, right there, if I hit throttle, it's going forward. If I hit reverse, it goes reverse, but here's the problem. If I go reverse and then throttle, it's actually braking, which means that if I'm going throttle, the ESC actually thinks I'm going in reverse. And I can prove that by going forward and then hitting the brake, and you will notice it will not brake, it will just burst into reverse because the ESC thinks it's going forward. So watch. Yeah, I have to let go, that was way too fast. But anyway, that's what happened. Again, uh, my wheels are just kind of sitting on the spindles. That's why they're not spinning. No, nothing's gonna damage. I'm not putting enough heat through it to damage the wheel. But anyway, that's how you can tell something is not quite right. Uh, so now, watch, I'm gonna go in reverse and then I'm gonna go throttle. If you're in reverse and you go throttle, the vehicle should kind of stop momentarily and then just take off going forward. But here it's not gonna do that, it's gonna hit the brake. Why? Because everything's backwards. So if I'm starting off, and notice it just hit the brakes. So if I'm here, notice now I have to, I have to tap it twice in order for it to go from brake to reverse. So that means that I have to change the rotation of the motor in the ESC programming so that the ESC knows which direction the motor is actually going. Now, one of the reasons why this is important is because if you have it backwards like this, and let's just say you're at a race and you have to disengage reverse, when you try to go forward, it's not gonna do anything. And then when you go reverse, it's gonna take off. So your controllers are, you know, your controls are gonna be backwards and then you have to go through and fix it. So you have to go through the ESC. Now, this is the programming box for the Hobbywing ESC. So this is the multifunction LED uh, program box and it comes with this little cable. So this cable plugs in right here to the ESC port, which is the one right here in the middle. Uh, notice that there's an S plus and minus. S is the white, plus is the red, and minus is the black wire. So those little metal tabs go up versus the fully insulated section goes down. You just plug it in like this and that is it in the box. Now you just have to plug in the wire to the ESC. Now again, I've removed the fan connection already. Uh, here, if you orient the capacitors toward you, uh, the black wire is gonna go to the left and then followed by the red and then a white will be to the right. Uh, and then you just plug it in. And then once it's plugged in, all you have to do is just engage the ESC. The LCD display will light up and it'll say Hobby Wing and then the version that you have, just press OK. And it's very difficult to see this on the camera, so I'm just going to be reading what it says here. It just says connecting ESC, please wait. Then after that it'll give you the software version, the model version, 
And here you go. So we're now in programming mode. So right now we are in the first setting, so running mode. Uh, the first setting for running mode is going to show you uh, forward reverse break as option two. That tends to be the default option. Now here, if you just hit value, it'll change the value. So you can change it to forward reverse, uh, forward break. So let's just say this setup was forward break. Whenever I would, if I did throttle, it would just break and wouldn't go anywhere. If I went reverse, it would actually move. And that's how you know things are backwards. Now, uh, you can set it backwards on your transmitter, which is what a lot of people would tell you to do. But then there's a problem. And I'm going to show you what that problem is right now. But, well, in a bit. Uh, let's leave it as forward break. All right now you hit okay it's programmed data saved good now you go to item which is the very first button and let me go to number six number six it says clockwise i'm going to go to counterclockwise because that's what i want but i'm not going to do it just now i'm going to do it afterwards just to show you the problem uh if i were to just do this uh, if I go, okay, I want six volts, good. Brake force, uh, let's just decrease this to, it was at 50%. I'm gonna go to 12.5, just for fun. Now you disengage the ESC, it is now off. You can remove, engage the vehicle again. So now I only have forward and brake. Throttle, nothing happens because it's braking. Reverse, notice if you can look at the shafts, it's going in reverse. So, oops, I'm gonna reverse the channel. And if I reverse the channel, now when I go forward, it's still going in reverse. And now when I hit the brake, it breaks. The problem is it's still going in reverse. And uh, so that's, that's the problem with just doing it on the radio that if you had your vehicle set up the other way uh, where you had forward, reverse, and brake, if you just reverse the transmitter, it would work just the way it was working initially. Uh, which your brake would be off. Your car would still move, right? Your vehicle would still move when you hit the reverse and when you go forward. The problem is when you hit the brake, it's not going to brake when it's supposed to. It's gonna brake when you want throttle. Uh, so that's the reason why. So what we actually have to change, and again, we're powering this on, is we wanna change the rotation of the motor. So we wanna go from CW clockwise to CCW, which is counterclockwise. Again, initial message, just hit okay. Connecting ESC, please wait, you wait. Software, model, there we go. Uh, so let's just go ahead and change uh, value for one. It says forward break, I actually want uh, forward, oh, you know what, for the purposes of this, let's leave it forward break, uh, just to prove my point. Now I'm gonna go to option six. Option six says CW. I want to go to CCW. Now programmed, perfect. Disengage the ESC. Unplug. Engage the ESC. And if you look at the shafts again, there we go. That's a good view. I'm going to go throttle. And there we go. So we are spinning forward and I hit the brake, it breaks. All right, throttle, brake. Uh, you do have to keep the channels in reverse though, channel two if you're using a Futaba, that's the way Futaba works. Uh, but at least now, your radio and your ESC are both in sync. When the radio says brake, the ESC is actually braking. When this says forward, you're actually going forward in the ESC. When this says reverse, you are actually going reverse 
on uh, the ESC. Uh, so now at this point, since I've already shown you that, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Uh, I'm going to enable the reverse now since I already have the correct rotation. So something that I recommend again is uh, just set your ESC to forward and break, just forward break, and that way you can tell if your ESC and your transmitter are actually thinking the same thing and doing the same thing. Here we go. The nice thing about these multifunction boxes, uh, they're pretty portable. I mean, there's some other stuff you can use wireless and then use your cell phone, but I've had this for a while. I've been running Hobby Wing uh, ESCs for a while too. Uh, but the nice thing about them is uh, they're portable, they're easy to connect, and the menu, you just go one menu at a time, and it's straightforward, very straightforward. Uh, so model number, perfect. Okay, so value, uh, running mode, I want value two, which is re uh, forward reverse break. Hit OK, data saved, and that is it. Disengage ESC, unplug, engage, and here we go. Now, notice the difference from start to now. Uh, forward, it goes forward. Uh, reverse, so notice how it hit the brake and then it reversed, so watch. Forward, brake and then you have to tap it a second time in order for it to go reverse. So now it's set, uh, and you are ready to go. Now, don't worry about this part. I never put the hex in there. Uh, the nut actually came off. I have some magnets on the table, uh, so I actually half the nut. It's just sitting in there, and I cut the pin as well. So if you watch some of my other videos on recommendations for tools, you would see that. But anyway, the important thing is uh, you're your uh, ESC is ready to go. So if you're using a Hobby Wing, uh, that's the way it works. If you're using a different brand, it's the same process, it's the same logic. Before you start just reversing the radio, you, there we go. Before you start just reversing the radio, you want to make sure that uh, the direction is correct on the ESC. Uh, if not, your ESC and your transmitter are going to be thinking two different things. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, dislike, comment below if you want to share your expertise. Other than that, thank you very, very much. See you in the next one. Be good.